Today I'm reviewing a calculator. Yes, a calculator. But this is no conventional calculator. This is the TI Inspire CXCAS, the best calculator you can buy right now, according to me. For the best pricing, uh, click the link in the description. This video is going to give you my overall experience of the calculator rather than going into specific functions or details. And I will also hopefully clear some misconception known about this calculator. I have taken calculus A, B, and B, C, and I did get five on both. So I have a pretty good experience using this calculator over the two courses. If you buy this calculator, your math classmates will most definitely get into debates with you saying something like that their TI-89 is better. In fact, if you look at the comments, you'll probably see the same thing. So be ready when this happens. Also buying this calculator is a great conversation starter in math class. So let's start with the review. Yes, this calculator has a cursor. When new people start using this calculator, they only use the cursor and comes to a conclusion that this is a slow calculator to use. But the truth is that you never have to use the cursor. They, there might be one or two things that only works with the cursor, but 99% of the time you will not have to use the cursor. Using the cursor only slows you down. The fact is this is a much faster calculator than a TI-89. For people who want to compare their TI-89 to this calculator, try summation notation with x squared where x starts at 0 and then goes to 100,000. You can see that the Inspire takes less than 8 seconds to finish this calculation. I can guarantee that the TI-89 will at least take twice as much. I'm hoping someone will comment below with the time it takes to calculate this on an 89. Having the cursor means this calculator has a graphical user interface, or GUI for short. Having GUI means anyone can use this calculator without any instruction. If you take a math course that involves a graphing calculator, your teacher would normally give you instructions on how to do certain problems. With the Inspire, you don't need instructions. You don't have to memorize any syntax. If you go to menu, then select calculus, you will see everything that you will ever need to use for calculus. Before I bought this calculator, I was worried that I wouldn't be able to figure out how to use it since the teacher would not be able to help you out. But that's not really that much of a problem. If you look at the instructions for TI-89, you should be able to figure out how to do it on the Inspire, since both of the calculator are made from the same company. And if you still have problems, I would suggest searching it on YouTube. There are lots of helpful tutorials with this calculator. Second thing I was concerned with before I bought this calculator was the battery life. The TI Inspire has a 1200 mAh replaceable rechargeable battery. The battery life on this is not as good as the TI-89. For me, it lasted about a month before I had to recharge it. You have to keep in mind that this calculator has a 320 by 240 pixel with 16-bit color backlit display. For a comparison, the first gen iPhone uh, had a 320 by 480 pixel display. The specs on this is comparable to a first gen iPhone than any other calculator. I never had a situation where the calculator ran out of charge. So I'm on summer break right now. Before I started making this video, I didn't use this calculator for 4 months. And after I turned the calculator on, it still had enough charge to be completely usable. If you're concerned, you can buy a second pair of the battery for less than $10 on Amazon. To replace the battery, all you need is a normal screwdriver. You can access the battery by unscrewing two screws and voila. The display on this calculator is really good. The viewing angle on this calculator is better than a lot of entry-level laptops. But the price is also close to entry-level Chromebooks, so it makes sense. You can put full JPEG image like this Golden Gate, so this is also a very easy calculator to cheat with. Finding maximum and minimum on this calculator is very intuitive and comprehensive as a result of the colored high-res display. Gaming on this calculator is also great. You can load thousands of games with the internal storage. One game I would highly recommend is Gravity Gun. I spend hours playing this game on my math class. Also you have the classics such as 2048 and Flappy Bird. Overall I'm very happy with this calculator. Right now the price difference between this calculator and the TI-89 is about $15. Overall I'm very happy with this calculator.
I have the Amazon link for the TI Inspire and the 89 on the description. Do not buy the CX model, buy the CXCAS model. The CAS stands for Computer Algebra System. You will need it for calculus. If you're wondering if this calculator is allowed for SAT, yes, it is allowed. I would highly recommend this calculator. It's also great for AP Statistics if you're taking that class. If you think that TI-89 is better, let me know in the comments below. Do not just say that the TI-89 is better without giving any reasons. Elaborate on the specifics. I'm curious. That's all. If you want to see more videos like this one, subscribe and thanks for watching.